charges which is coming in, another big charge which is coming in, a condemnation from the Congress after this mega interview of Prala Joshi with Times Now's Navika Kumar. Now Congress's Manikam Tagore, Congress MP, has condemned the claim. He says strongly condemned these false charges being leveled against the Congress and he says suspending MPs was an attack on democracy by the BJP. In fact, remember, there has been this massive face-off that we've already seen over the suspensions. Now you have the Union Minister of Parliamentary Affairs. He says that this was all a part of Congress's well-thought-out strategy. But now the Congress leaders are reacting to Times Now's mega-exclusive. You have Manikam Tagore who has said that these are false claims which are being made against the Congress party. And it is an attack on democracy because it is BJP who suspended 146 MPs of the opposition and ensured that there was no debate on several of the critical bills which were being introduced and then passed in the parliament. Let me go across to Nidhi. Nidhi, can you tell us what uh, Congress's MP Manikam Tagore has said? Well, Meghna, I'll just tell you what Kong MP Manikam Tagore has said, lashing on to Pralhad Joshi Joshi's claim made on Times Now exclusively. This is what he said. Strongly condemned the false claim by Parliamentary Affairs Minister Mr. Joshi, blaming Mr. Rahul Gandhi for the parliament demonstrations, suspending MPs for asking a single question in an attack on democratic values. Let's stand for truth and fair representation. So this was Kong MP Manikam Tagore lashing on to Prahlad Joshi for his claims on Times Now. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. Clearly, Times Now's interview has created mega ripples across political corridors. Well, there's more breaking news which is coming in. Malika Arjun Kharge, the Congress president, has written a letter to the Rajya Sabha chair. In fact, in this, this is regarding yet again the entire sunset showdown that we have seen. In this, he has said that the opposition must have its say in the parliament. MPs have been suspended for merely seeking the response of the Home Minister. In fact, he goes on to say that we are willing to engage in a meaningful debate and discussion but we were not permitted to speak for even a minute the opposition demands that the home ministry must apprise this breach as well of security in the parliament and Malik Arjun Kharge has gone on to say the opposition's demand has been unequivocally ignored by the Rajya Sabha chair. Let me go across to Mohit Bhatt who is joining us. Mohit, of course, we've seen a massive showdown which has already happened over Vice President Dhankar, but now a letter has been written by the Congress President to Dhankar about it, the Vice President, and in this he says that it is BJP who has attacked democracy to quote him that opposition's demands have been unequivocally ignored. So do we see an intensification of this uh, suspension showdown that we've been seeing despite the fact that the winter session's over? Well, yes, Magna, the, the, the winter session is over, but we we'll still see war of words going on between uh, the opposition parties and uh, the government. We know for a fact that how Malika Arjun Kharge has written a letter to Vice President Jabdeep Dhankar, where he says that uh, various, on various occasions, the opposition MPs gave various adjournment motions to have a meaningful discussion on the security breach of the parliament. He also goes on to say they just wanted a statement from Home Minister, but that demand was again and again ignored. They were not given time to speak. Many of the opposition MPs and uh, most of them were rather uh, uh, suspended from the parliament. And he also goes on to say that he is ready to have a discussion at a convenient time. And he will be wanting to meet vice president over the issue. And hence, we see that even after the session is over, Malik Arjun Kharge says that he is ready to have a, 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 a mutual discussion with Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar at the time of his choice. So clearly it seems that the session is over, but the politics over is not over. We know that how Prahlad Joshi, while speaking to Times Now, have also stated that it was part of the strategy of the opposition parties. First, they allowed the parliament to go on for 45 minutes, but after that, they decided that they will create workers, they will create disruption. And after that, after the 13 MPs were being suspended, the other MPs came and said that they want to be get suspended too. So that's a big charge coming in from the BJP. While on the other hand, we see that how Malik Arjun Kharge has written this letter to Jagdeep Dankar, where he says that despite several adjournment motion, they were not allowed to speak. They wanted a statement from Home Minister Amit Shah, and still he is ready to have a dialogue on this particular issue at a convenient time. Uh, so we, we have to wait and watch what exactly would be the reply of Vice President of the country. But yes, as you were saying, the parliament session is over, the suspension of all these MPs is over, but the politics is not over on this particular issue. Back to you, studio. Very interesting. Uh, Mohit, do stay on with us. In fact